Afshin Inlika Ner Perile. Welcome back to Technical Analysis with Lennox. This is Midweek Market Update, and this video is proudly brought to you by Infinox. Infinox is a multi regulated financial services provider. The broker is also regulated in South Africa, FSP 50506. Now, did you know that you can actually earn money by just referring clients to the broker? Well, if you didn't know, here's how you can benefit from that now let's look at um, some twitter requests i'll start by by this request here by uh so this is a request hmm, from uh okay Pelmac. okay okay so um when i'm looking at this stock here uh <clears throat> this stock has created a nice bottom here right it has created uh, this triple testing here this triple bottom here and the stock is looking fairly okay i uh, can expect the stock to come close this market gap at three rands and 39 cents so that's the price that i'll be looking at in the short medium term and the stock is likely to go back to four rands per share and that'll be my um uh, some sort of a short term target on the stock the stock is looking fairly okay and i'm looking uh, uh for this market gap here and also this resistance at four rents per share now let's uh, look at the next analysis um let me just open my iphone 6 here <laughs> um so this is a request by cheryl uh <clears throat> so this stock here it has um moved quite a bit uh the those who like saying the the smart money has already been made um on the stock and i wouldn't uh, really take a position on the stock but i mean it can still continue going up but um easy money has been made already and it's currently testing this sort of a trend here which might uh, drive price back to this uh, i can see the market gap at at 4.4.71 australian dollars so this can potentially push price to that level or this level at uh, 4.26 and uh, from there just maybe we can get a bullish continuation from there but uh, personally the stock has moved quite a bit and uh, it might actually pose some downside risk uh, so so personally i would uh, i would stay away from such stocks until they give uh, uh, so, so some lower entry points say probably maybe 4.26 and if you're lucky Maybe you can catch it at 3.76 Australian dollars. And that'll be my analysis on this stock here. Now, let me uh, move to the next one. Let's look at this uh, American stock here. So it's one of those distressed stocks. And the stock is actually trading close to its lowest low. So let's put that that nine dollars. And one may say that we have some sort of a, a double bottom here, although it's not so clear, it's not crystal clear, but uh, there seem to be um, a double bottom here. And uh, in my opinion, I think uh, 
uh, it's the right time to accumulate. I think these are the nice weakness to to start accumulating on the stock, and we could potentially see the stock uh, uh, going to this level of um, <clears throat> ten dollars per share. But uh, bearing in mind that it can still come back and retest this level of uh, six point six dollars per share, and that would be my analysis. Analysis on Palantir Technologies. Um, the stock is looking fairly okay if you are an investor. This is uh, like the nice zone to, uh, to to start accumulating on weakness. Now let's uh, move on to the next analysis. I see Macoveni also requested for C, C Limited. We covered this one recently. Just go through the. I think. Uh, we did this one two weeks back, if I'm not mistaken, but just go through the midweek market update uh, episodes. You should you should find an analysis on this stock. Now let's um, do a request from Travis and also Cheryl requested for this one. In Victor Holdings. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, this chart looks so familiar. I think we've covered this stock some some time. Uh, I think three weeks, four weeks ago. But uh, anyways, I'm seeing this head and shoulder here. This potential head and shoulder here. And this is uh this is a major risk on the stock. Although we have um price breakout here uh, those that like trading breakouts will tell you that this is um this is a bullish sign but in my opinion I, I don't like this kind of moments i really like this this is this kind of analysis or this kind of signals here and this is a head and shoulder here this is a bearish signal in my opinion of course you can still see the stock coming to test this level here of uh, 32 rents per share but uh the stock is likely to reject back to this this breakout zone here uh, this breakout zone here and this would be a buy zone in my opinion uh, this is around let's call it 11 rents per share uh the stock is not looking too great in my opinion uh, in order to val invalidate this analysis, the stock will have to break above this uh, this shoulder level of uh, 32 rents per share. So if we see the stock breaking above that level here, that would be a strong bullish sign on the stock. But in the meantime, I'm actually having a bearish outlook on the stock. Um, I'll only change my my outlook or my focus if the stock breaks above 32 rands per share and it's actually a strong break. Otherwise, the stock can potentially go back to to 11 rands per share. And that'll be my analysis on Invicta Holdings. Now let's move on to the next one. Um Let's do P PPC. Uh, PPC. And uh, I think I recently spoke about this stock. Uh, I think maybe I was a bit violent. So today I'm a bit calm. And um, so, so the next low that you can expect on the stock is around. It's around this level here. And this level is. It's one rent and 80 cents. In the meantime, there's no signs that suggests that the stock is turning bullish. The stock is still looking bearish. If the stock does not get to this uh, level here, another bullish sign would be a break above this trend line here. So let's say a break above a strong 
break above two rands and 63 cents that would maybe be a strong bullish sign on the stock and if this 180 support does not hold the stock is likely to go back to its lower low of uh, around 50 cents going into uh, the mid 40 cents and that'll be my analysis on ppc limited uh now let's get uh this request by uh divani so requested for net bank <clears throat> and from this analysis i can tell you that the stock has hit this supply zone here and as you can you can already see we, we seem to be getting a nice rejection at uh 240 and i'm now expecting the stock to go to at least 187 and the stock can potentially go to uh 150 156 this rents per share and then just just maybe around this level here we can start looking for uh rejection and we can maybe start uh accumulating on weakness right and that'll be my analysis on net bank um i'm short term bearish on the stock but i i can tell you this 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 um this price movement here is quite healthy so this uh, retracement here is not it's not really a train smash in my opinion if you really love the stock i mean uh, you can uh, start accumulating at 187 uh going down to 156 and that'll be my analysis on uh, netbank let's look at the next one here uh store edge i haven't looked at this chart in a while and it's probably because this there isn't much data on the on the stock uh let's see what we can we can find here let's see we have a resistance there um this breakout is right there And so what I'm seeing from this um, from this chart, right? Uh, the stock can can go to uh, to fourteen rents per share, but um, there's no there's no information that suggests that the stock can potentially break above this level here if ever it does go to this level here, and. Um, uh, in the meantime, uh, I would say the stock is still playing sideways. I don't expect some crazy movement on, on the stock or sustainable bullish movement or even bearish movement, sustainable bearish movement. I'm not expecting much on the stock. So uh, in the in the, the short, medium term, the stock will probably play around these zones here. Yeah? These zones here. Yeah? So you can see it uh doing some sort of zigzag there testing that high testing this low testing that high so this is like the sideways movement that i'm talking about uh there isn't much that i'm expecting on the stock and i think uh i think i should just leave it at that and uh, not lie to you guys i'm not really expecting much on the stock and that'll be my two cent opinion on store edge uh, let's get pick and pay is a request uh, from this is a request from Katleho. pick and pay I think on the stock would, would need some uh, 
some more confirmation let's see what we have on the the weekly chart the stock has recently tested this supply zone here and we can potentially see it uh, going down in the next the next coming days uh, it's likely to come back test this level at uh, 54 rands per share that's that's actually what i'm expecting on the stock uh, i mean it's not looking too great and it's not looking too bad either um but the stock can so the lowest that the stock can possibly go i see this this sort of a downtrend here so the first low that the stock can go to is this 54 rands per share and if um we get a strong bearish energy it, it can go to 50 rents per share and if we break below this trend line here that i've drawn here this would will scream danger on the stock if it breaks below uh say 54 rents per share the stock can still go to uh this low here uh this low is actually it actually correlates with that uh 50 rents low on the stock so just be mindful of uh of this risk here and this would be a drawback of uh approximately um, uh 18 percent from current current price right if this does not happen i think a bullish sign would be a break above above um 62 rands per share and uh i think that that should uh, conclude my analysis on peak and pay shop right i think i've done an analysis uh, maybe a month ago which is still up to date let's look at mr price request from dave So the stock is actually trading this uh, <clears throat> nice support here. If you love the stock, I think this is a nice zone to, to accumulate. This is 168 uh, rents per share. And um, I think uh, the stock can potentially uh, reach this high here at... Um, two two eight but my target on the stock would be around 283 rents per share uh the stock is is looking fairly okay just uh just know that um this stock does not move uh, as much so uh, a bit of patience here and there you should be fine but the stock is looking fairly okay the downside risk on the stock probably um a test to this low here which would be which would be a drawback of approximately 25 percent from current price but otherwise i'd say i'm bullish on mr price group and that'll be my analysis on the stock um let's see here let's see let's see who am i leaving drd gold so this stock here is actually posing a great danger to to investors here it's now trading below this this level here so this level is now resistance it's now trading below 11 rands per share and this i should tell you it can potentially take the stock to to two rands per share um i'm not gonna sugarcoat things 
this is a possible reality and it's not it's not really far-fetched for as long as this stock is trading above no for as long as it's trading below 11 rands per share this stock can potentially go to um two rands per share is this two rands yeah two rands per share and um just just be mindful if this happens this would be a drawback of 66 to 67 percent from current price so brace yourselves for for this kind of movement the stock is not looking too great um a relief on the stock could probably be a, a break above this level a break above 11 rents so if we can get a break a sustainable break above 11 rents which i highly doubt is gonna happen but if that happens that should be a relief to 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 investors for for this stock but in my opinion the stock is not looking too great and i am uh strongly bearish on the stock right remember my buy zone 284 rents per share uh, let's move on to the mm, next analysis <coughs> i think this should be the last one uh so I see Tabo, you requested for labat we did labat i think a week or two weeks ago uh let's look at asilo metal let's look at uh, what's been happening oh i remember this one i remember this one i said the stock can potentially go to five rands per share and i remember vividly saying that it's unlikely that the stock will break below this level here but uh, look what happened here it did break below the level then rejected this level here it's now going for uh for this low here right so this is not really a strong support here and i'm afraid with this new information here the stock could be heading to it could be heading to um so we might be getting another ppc scenario here so the stock can actually go to two rands and 70 cents i know i said it was unlikely that it will break below this um this level of five friends but uh market doesn't care about my feelings it doesn't care about your feelings too it does what it does and you just have to uh you know get on with it move on with life and take the price that market offer us and currently we could see a silo metal going to uh two rents and 70 cents per share and i think i've covered everyone's requests uh, let me just confirm again is uh that'll be it for this week yeah, remember if you're new to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button if you are a returning subscriber like the video subscribe no why would you subscribe when you are you're already a returning subscriber share the video comment uh just leave your thoughts in the comment session uh let's meet again next week same place same time bye bye